All right, Politically Wrong super chatted four ninety nine and said, I love all y'all, but fair to say, I'm here for Heather Meeks. Oh, okay. yes. I'm not oh, reading I'm not get, ah, <laughs> I don't know, because my last name isn't Meeks, and it's a whole big uh -oh, thing. Oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. Yeah, we talked about that Let's yesterday. get to that. Yeah, you feel it's what I'm saying? It's so annoying. <laughs> Gonna leave me hanging. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> So how, okay, so that being said, how, like, does that bother, does that get under your skin? Like, if no. people do that? Because I feel like that was supposed to be, like, respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, they was trying to, like, what shout you out, saying Heather Meeks. Oh, 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 well, yeah. No, that's fine. But I was just saying, on TikTok right now, it's, like, people are, like, I posted a video and mm -hmm. people are, like, reposting the video and then doing their own video and like this isn't cute because I was like oh been together for 13 years have three kids have three businesses so they're playing my video and then they're speaking their oh, they're opinion on how it. they fit yeah they're mm. stitching it about how they feel and they're just like why are you not married you know like just all these things where I should be married and like yeah. how I'm just a weak bitch basically <laughs> what <laughs> yeah like she can't Crazy. solidify her family and she could do yeah. this and that or something happen to her she ain't gonna be able to do shit and all this like Y'all know it's how people them people got contracts or not contracts paperwork on or how they file their paperwork. Y'all know, like, come on, bro. It's not even that. People are just fucking haters at the end of the day. Right. Mm -hmm. Like everything that you lit that you listed off, probably majority of the people that are reacting and saying bullshit don't even have a quarter of what yeah. you and T Rail have worked for, worked to have over the thirteen years. But it's like it's like they could be married, it's oh, like, no, they, they, be they, they, they could be married yes. but not have one business, not one nothing. But that's what they're saying. Not, like, it's like get get the fuck over it. Wh whatever makes y'all happy, makes y'all happy. You're clearly happy. Basically so what they're married, saying is you have all these businesses with him and like you you know, you have all these kids with him, but when it's comes down to like a legal situation or a health situation like they're not going to go to you they're going to go to his mom or they're going to go to his family right but they're not going to come to you for any business decisions legal decisions health decisions anything like that like that's why you need to be his wife yeah. you know and i'm just like damn i don't know i feel like this time has flew by and we've just been focused on other shit mm -hmm. rather than yeah. getting married years, or... or you guys come 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 in law because sure. when i'm when okay, i think about getting married like we, we can go to the courthouse and get married shit. Yeah. But like when I think about getting married, like I'm actually going to do, you know, do, it, do up it up and I'm going to yeah. get married. And I just haven't felt like that time is Same for way. me yet because I have other shit that I want to do is because we do have three kids <laughs> yeah. and, you know, building businesses and stuff. So I'm like, it's going to happen one day. But chill. Like, let yeah. me. So when you do get married, do you think it's something you would stream since you guys are so Whoa. heavy into like the podcasting world, podcasting world and all that? Do you think that's something you would stream? 100 percent. I think I think. Because it is such a special moment, you know? Mm -hmm. Or you, if somebody was paying us. That that would be crazy. Yeah. Like a TV show, like yeah. how they used to do, like the Housewives. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Stuff. Do you already plan? Do you have, like, no. little Pinterest boards and shit already? No, but I think I want to be in Texas and have, like, a big country wedding with, mm. like, horses and just be on the farm and just have, like, white chairs and just be, like, country. Because all my family wants to come. And I have to do it soon because... All of my aunts and uncles are getting old and they're not going to be here for much fucking longer. And I have to do it. None of my other sisters are getting married. Yeah. And that's how I feel like I need to show like, yes, I'm married. You know, are yeah. all your sisters out here? No, just one. I have two in uh, Texas. So. Oh, OK. Yeah. I feel like y'all should do it in Texas because you spent your whole relationship out here. Let's like. Right. Like, give me you know, something. I feel yeah. like we can do that. And he just refuses. But we do have a lot of friends out here that well, we want to move. He says he wants to move. He don't want to move. But it really would just would be for my family. Yeah. Like that part, the older people that don't want to yeah. fly here and see that just so they could be a part of it. And it's just a lot of them. Yeah. And I then out like here that. is just a lot That's of random cool. associates. Like, you know, like, do I really want you at my wedding? Where No, I'm just playing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're 100% coming to my wedding. But it's just like. buy my plane ticket now. <laughs> but Terrell is like, yeah, he's like yeah. random associates or whatever. They're all coming. Everybody's coming. It's a big, huge party. Do you, do like you already have a list <clears throat> of people that are not invited? You know she don't. <laughs> it's just crazy. I mean, I mean, no, no, I mean, no. Me and Terrell would have to go through that list. That shit would take forever. Because right. he'd be like, yes, he's coming. All right, yes, let's get to coming. it. Can Tiny yeah. come to the wedding? Yeah, Tiny can come to the wedding. Have Ooh, you guys okay, actually, okay. like, have you guys had a conversation and worked out, y'all, Tiff? 
Because that was a... That was, Me that and Tiny was, have had conversation before, yeah. but then it, like, it continued on. Like, right. something else happened, and we haven't had another conversation. Okay. But can, we will. Can Keem come to the wedding? Um... He's a, see, he's a new riser. He's a new friend. Like right. Tiny has been t- Terrell's friend. I mean, yeah, Kim can come to the wedding. Everybody that can come to the wedding that's involved in this mo- majority. Yeah, because the motherfuckers gotta bring a gift. Y'all better <laughs> buy something. Yeah. For this motherfucker. There you have it. I'm just not trying to pay for everybody to eat and do all that shit. Mm-hmm. That's why I want to ask. I said, go to Texas. Go to Texas. Go get my family flight. will cook barbecue. No. We're gonna turn up. That's what they say. The wedding is for everybody yeah. else. It's really it not for you because yeah. you're you're paying for all these people to come and eat, but then you kind of get everything back when it comes to like yes. gifts and money yeah. and stuff like that yeah but I, the wedding is yeah. really they say technically for everybody else and you kind of just prove that like you know you want your aunts and all of them to see which I makes feel sense like that. I'd rather be like that. them I feel like yeah. than a lot of people out here that fucking don't half like me anyway yeah I feel there like you, have you should just do y'all should do the wedding in Texas we fly out we yeah. get some rooms chill or get a big ass Airbnb hire whatever the case may be at the time and then, because you have a lot of your family out there, Terrell, out here, like, he don't have a lot of family. He's got a lot of homies. Friends. You see what which I'm saying? Which are family, though. Yeah, which we are family, mm-hmm. but we can go and, you feel me? You will have to take care of their flights and they all that, and you know he going to have a stroke. Wait, yeah. are you, so that would be the case? Exactly. No, I don't think you have to. I would love that. That's flights. perfect. You got to pay for everybody's flights? Her older no, auntie not everybody. Stuff. Oh, yeah, my family. Yeah. They'd be like, Oh yes, you are. Yeah, family. like bitch, yeah. you out there And then you gotta pay out. for somewhere yeah. here to stay. Yeah, they look at her like and all that. You in the big man. And then there's probably the some you gotta get outfits yeah. for rooms yeah. and like all that. that. But that's like one thing to look right. You gotta do it yourself. Yep. I mean, yeah. Well, the bridesmaids are expected to buy their own stuff, right? No, I don't know. I never it's been the a opposite bridesmaid. way. How you not so. gonna buy your bridesmaid stuff and you gonna buy other every time I've been a bridesmaid, we had to spend our own money. Yeah. No, I thought you. I thought the the I've, I thought the wedding the groom and the bride buy everything. No, that's also well, that's also that. been the case for me. But I'm saying if we to the extent where we pl- we paying for people to fly out and shit like that, you might as well buy your bridesmaids shit. Oh. I would if I got married. I would buy everybody's shit. Isn't the because I'm gonna get married when I'm rich as is, fuck. Is right. it the the bride's <laughs> father or the groom's father supposed, that's supposed to pay for it? It's the, the, the bride's, bride's father. The bride's 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 father. It's, it's 2023. Yeah, it's the bride's father. Whose dad is really paying for the wedding right now? Would y'all? Would y'all? Pay what he owe, Perry. Would y'all pay no, for your own wedding? wedding? Yeah. Would y'all pay for your own wedding? Yeah, yeah. I want. I don't like, have no choice. No, like absolutely. if your husband is not putting in nothing. No. If, if I'm, if I'm, I'm already gonna, gonna get marry. I look at like this. Working. I'm already gonna marry him, and if I have the bread to fund the wedding that I want, and he's fine with it, then why not? I'm marrying him, so I can't. You know what I'm saying? Not them because he don't have the money to get the big wedding that I want. So if I have the money to to have this big ass wedding. Right. Then let's do it. So no, he don't gotta I can't put do in it. nothing. No, if he doesn't not. have it, but I mean at the end of the day, why are we really sitting here getting married? But what type of marriage is that gonna be though? You the, starting off in the yeah, end. Yeah, that's you starting yeah, off if with it's, if an L. If that's the case, yeah, it's definitely starting off as an L. But you asked if I would pay for the wedding if that was a situation at hand at the time, then yes, for sure. Because I know I, what I want. I know want. a yeah. lot of women that's paid for their wedding. Oh, oh there, there's go. women out there that bought their own ring. You know what I'm no. saying? That like Shout want out to bigger rings and shit like that. And I don't, I, don't, I don't see there's anything wrong with that. Bought buying your own ring? That's what I'm not doing. Buying your own ring is not. I'm, like, not, if, what are, I'm not doing that. If shit. you have the money, I'm not paying for my own wedding. I'm not I will paying for my own I wedding. Like, for parts. That's like buying my own birthday cake. I'm not buying. Yeah, like, I, I, I don't mind participating <laughs> in certain shit. Like I'll pay for the honeymoon. I'll pay for. The decorations or whatever you pay I for. I feel the like venue, whatever. It's okay. If it's something that you want, that's, that's like extra out. That's me. If it's something yeah, that I'm like, no, out. I can't yeah, live mm-hmm. without this. I mm-hmm. need this. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know y'all don't want to do it, but I really want to do it. So fuck it. I'm gonna pay for it. 1, so I don't have to hear y'all mouth and yep. I don't fuck up the budget. And that's yeah. exactly like, one thousand percent. That type of shit. I feel all like right. I would do for sure. All right. All right. Exactly how I am. Like my son's. I'll give you an example. My son's birthday party. My dude didn't want a DJ. Like I want a DJ. Yeah, you. He's pay like, for I don't want to say, okay, don't worry about it. I'll pay for it. We gonna have the That's DJ. That's how I go. Yeah. Would you yeah. propose to a man? No. Absolutely. Shout out to Chrissy. Oh yeah. Excuse me. Jim Jones. But Shout out to Chrissy. Did they, oh, my did they God. ever get married? No, no, they did not. I'm not propose. I can't propose to a man because I can't even approach a man and tell him like, oh, I, like, what's up with you? Mm. Yeah, like, I you feel me? It. I would like a nigga for twenty years, and if you don't stay none to me, never. I feel like it's, it's just that. I feel we like we just it's talked too much about pressure. that. We talked about that on the news yeah. today. I have no problem a- approaching a man like at the club or something. Like I if I'm paying it. attention to him and I see him, I'm, I'll walk up and be like, "What's up? I want you." Like, 
that's the one for me right there. But proposing is a whole nother ball game. That's yeah. all. I no, can do all. it. I, I can do it. it. I can't Mm-mm. approach a man like I feel like if I'm a, like we somewhere, I'm gonna try to get that contact, like that energy. If I don't get that energy and you don't approach me, then fuck it. Shit, I, I go to sleep. I look at it like this: nine times out of ten, the woman knows before the man for sure that we want to be with them and we want to marry them. So it's up. So we sit there and wait for the man to be ready. Yeah, the, well, the proposal yeah. is all for the man to be ready to actually take that step because we we're ready before them most of the time. Yeah, and usually. So, so once once they take that, it's like all right, cool. Now you're finally ready. I feel like a woman proposing to a man is kind of putting him in a tough spot. Like it's it's a lot of pressure. It's a, it's almost an ultimatum. <laughs> like all right, um, well I don't want to embarrass her and say no, so I'm gonna say yes, and it's like you're kind of pushing him into marriage. That's how I look at it. 